What's up guys, Random CJ back for another top 10 video today. And we are here with the top 10 strangest people that have ever lived. Coming in in the 10th place is a 57 year old man that lived in Japan and he was mystified when his food kept disappearing from his kitchen. He, uh, he set up a surveillance camera and sent the pictures to his mobile phone of an intruder in his apartment. When the police arrived, and searched the residence, they discovered a 50-year-old hiding in the upper compartment of a storage closet. Number 9. A woman in Michigan lived with her dead roommate's body for up to 18, mo 18 months because she was lonely. Charles Ziegler was 67 years old, suffering from an Emphysema? I don't know. Emphysema, I think, when he passed away. Instead of reporting his death, Ziegler's 72-year-old friend, Linda Chase, with whom lived for 10 years, propped his body up in a chair in front of the television. In 2003, Michael, Towns Michael Townsend and several of his artists friends took over an unused space in Rhode Island shopping mall. They managed to sneak two tons of construction materials into the mall and create their own studio apartment, which was hidden from view by a wall of cinder blocks. The room had electricity and was fully furnished. Though they used the mall bathrooms, they managed to go unnoticed, living in the space for up to three weeks at a time for four years. Some of these people are pretty creepy. All right, number seven. A 56-year-old man in New Mexico was found living in a cave on a property that belonged to the Department of Energy. Roy Moore's makeshift abode was equipped with a bed, front door, wood-burning stove, solar panels, and satellite radio. He'd been living in the cave for four years without being detected. Smoke from the stove finally drew attention to the authorities, who also discovered marijuana plants on the property. More and his belongings were moved and he was charged with drug offenses. Now, um, I don't know why someone would want to live in a cave. I don't know, maybe they were homeless, but you can find, there's solutions for that. There's homeless shelters, I mean, there's places, but marijuana and living in a cave? Really, people? You gotta learn how to live. You know what I mean? L. Live. Gotta learn how to live. Okay. When a South Carolina... Okay, this is number six. When a South Carolina woman heard noises coming from her attic and nails began dropping from the ceiling, she had a feeling that something just ain't right. When her grown sons investigated, they discovered their mother's ex-boyfriend sleeping in the... In a heating unit full, full of coats. He'd been released from prison two weeks prior and had lived in the attic ever since. Not only was the woman unaware that he had been released, the couple's relationship ended 12 years before. Adding the, to the creepiness factor, cups from the fast food restaurant filled with human waste were found nearby. The man had also rigged the ceiling vents so that he could peer into his ex-girlfriend's bedroom. Number 5. An 8-year-old girl who disappeared with her sister while tending buffalo was found living in the wild after 19 years. A villager saw uh, that person emerge naked from the jungle in a... Okay, I don't really know these ones they're weird like this one has a lot of weird words that I've never heard of okay so I'm just gonna skip to number four sorry about that a 50 year old man in Paris was found living in a small room with a slanted ceiling which had only 1.5 square meters of space which is only 17 square feet Wow there was barely enough room to stand and the man lived there for 15 years the rent was 350 euros a month, 
which is about $442 a month in real life. When asked how he coped in these accommodations, he told French radio station, I come home and go to bed. The landlord found himself in hot water because French law says apartments and parents need to be at least 9 square meters, 97 square feet, and must include a shower. So it was just a shower. Another one. Well, this is number three. While investigating copper thefts in a nearby grain mill, police in Kansas City, Missouri discovered an elaborate series of underground tunnels where some cities homeless had taken up residence. Wow. The tunnels were dug in a wooded area and ven ventilated with PVC pipe. The entrances were disguised by brush and other debris. One tunnel was as deep as 7.5 meters, 20, 25 feet, and led to a room with bedding and candles. A pile of diapers nearby led to concerns that there were children living down there. The tunnels cleared out and shut the tunnels were cleared out and shut down because of the living conditions were not unsafe. Were unsafe. And the incident sparked debate about the city's homeless situation. Okay, number two. A postal worker in Texas became concerned when he kept seeing two unkempt children on her route and contacted child welfare. The girl and boy, aged 11 and 5, were living alone in an abandoned school bus parked in a garbage strewn lot. Their parents were in prison for taking part in a cons conspiracy? Oh, dang. The bus had electricity, running water, an air conditioner, and bathroom facilities, but the children were essentially on their own. Holy fuzz. You serious? Wow. Number one. In, 1980, in 1978, a team of geologists in Siberia were stunned to discover a family of six living on a mountainside miles from the nearest civilization. The Lykov family fled religious persecution. I don't know. They lived in the wild for the next 40 years. The two youngest children had never seen a human being that wasn't a member of their own family. But they were aware of their existence. Their language was disordered due to the isolation. And they had never seen bread. Wow. So, you can tell that these people that are living in weird places, I don't know how they do it. Like, they're messed up. They can't really... I don't see how people live like this. That just creeps me out. I mean, I don't get it. But, uh, yes, that's going to have to wrap up this episode of Top 10. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you have, hit that like button down below. Also, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications. And then you will be officially part of the... Excuse me. And you will be officially part of the random family. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you can also comment what you thought of the video down below. And, yes, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.